So, you got the perfect keyframes, but the transition between just isn't going your way. Not a problem. First, select all the frames that you want to adjust the transition for. Alright, if you open the dope sheet, go into keys, interpolation, and you'll see a bunch of different transition types. But don't worry, only seven of them really matter. Now, the first one is easy. Bezier is the default, and the one you probably are most familiar with. It starts slow and in slow, and is usually the one you want because it is the smoothest way to transition from one frame to another. Constant, on the other hand, is the opposite. This is what they use for stop motion in anime. It's super sharp and jumpy and instantly shifts to the next frame position with no transition at all. Linear is a mix between the two. It's not smooth, but it's not sharp. The speed of the transition is the same throughout the beginning, middle, and end. This is pretty useful when you need to brute force a spin animation and have constant speed between each frame. There's bounce, which transitions the same way gravity would affect a basketball. Then there's this one called elastic, which is kind of glitchy, but has this nifty sort of cartoon look to it. And then there's this special one called back, which is my favorite because it has built-in snapback. Even though we only have two keyframes, it buffers over extension and automatically goes a little further than the target before recoiling back to position. It's really useful for sci-fi machine shifting and transformations. The rest of these are math-based transitions, and the only one that I've ever needed to use is exponential, which means that it starts slow and ends fast. But you can try the others if you want. Anyway, hope that helps. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell hope you have a fantastic day and i'll see you around